Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel. Hey I'm Kayla. In today's video for Funko Friday which I know for the past like two weeks all of my videos have been about Funko Pops but we've really just kind of been obsessed with them the last two weeks. Not that we have, haven't have stopped being obsessed with them but um, I have like 20 plus Pops right here that I want to show you guys and I have them in categories kind of. Well yeah they are in categories I would say. So let's jump right on into this video and let's see all the pops I got. Your head on my we have uh, five different categories I believe. So we have Toy Story, um, Super Heroes, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and like I don't want to say randoms because like they like kind of go with what we're doing but like extras not randoms. I don't really know the word for them but they kind of just don't fit in one of these categories that I'm showing. I don't believe. I'm not really sure. Go ahead and get started with the Toy Stories. We have four pops of these and they're the new ones that just came out for Toy Story 4 and I'm super excited about it because we do have some somewhere up there. You can't see it but we do have some of the normal toy story i believe yes and so this first one i'm going to be showing you is forky and he is on he is a gamestop exclusive and he is a really cool pop he's super cute and i believe toy story is coming out sometime this year i believe not really sure trying to show you the collection that he's in and forky is going for 13 dollars, and then we have alien right here and Alien is going for $15 and my dog is barking. What's new? Okay, I was having such a hard time trying to get this to focus, which I mean you've already seen it, but he is going for $15 and the next Toy Story Pop we have is Sheriff Woody, which I was so excited to get. I love Woody and he is going for i have them all written out so we didn't have so we wouldn't have to like go through and find them but i see that this is just as hard to look through he is going for 16 dollars, and that is his side picture and you've seen what set he is from and the last one from toy story is buzz lightyear right here and he is also a super cool pop i love the freaking Buzz Lightyear pops because I believe the one up there yeah has like his little bubble around his head his uniform what is it called I'm not really sure this first one that we have right here is Luke Skywalker and he is going for $15 and I think Jonathan bought this like in a big like what is it called he bought them all like in a group he bought like 20 pops from some guy and I don't remember the guy's name I would say his name and like shout him out or something but I really don't remember his name because Jonathan did all the communicating and met him in Tennessee and then I brought the pops here and now I'm filming the video but anyways he really liked the Star Wars pops a lot he loves Star Wars we love Star Wars so it was super cool. Han Solo in his gear, which is the same as Luke Skywalker, and it is also a GameStop exclusive. And he is going for $9. The next one we picked up, I remember we got this one at, um, what is it called? I'm sorry I keep looking down. I'm trying to look at the prices, like I said. But we picked this one up from Hot Topic, and Princess Leia is going for $21, I believe. Yes. This next one, which is a 6-inch pop, is going for nine dollars i believe and i have such a hard time with like six six inches and like the two packs and like you i don't think you can see them but like the it's right there these pops right here they literally are worth nothing like like a common pop and we pay like thirty dollars for them it really aggravates me but it's fine also don't mind the box that is khaleesi's toy bin so that was all for Star Wars and the next thing we're going to get into is our randoms, extras. I'm sure I will have another word for it in a minute. I just literally can't think of the word. But the first one we're going to start off with is Radioactive Man from The Simpsons. Jonathan got this one at um, 
GameStop, I believe. Is that gonna focus? There we go. Got this one from GameStop and his price, I looked it up on the Funko app. There was no price. I looked it up on PPG. There was no price. So I do not know what he's worth. The next one we picked up is Stitch right here. And this is Stitch in, which one is it? 626, which I believe is from the first Lilo and Stitch whenever, of course, if you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. He is worth $12. I don't know why it's wanting to focus on everything else, but he is worth $12. And then we have this one, which I love. He picked it up from the big lot that he got and it is Carl from Up. He is, I freaking love that movie. And Carl is going for $10 because y'all know I love Disney. So anything Disney, I just have to have. And when he showed me that, I was super excited. The next one we got is a box upgrade for sure. He is somewhere around here. I think he's over here. It is a box upgrade because our other box is crap. And this is actually Jonathan's favorite um, football player, which you can probably see him. And that is Peyton Manning. And Peyton Manning is going for, if I can find him, $16. So we have two of these now. Jonathan might take the other Peyton Manning out of the box. I'm not sure, but it was just a box upgrade, which you might be able to see him. He's, he's right there. And then we have... Freddie Funko in football beside him. The last one from this section is Buddy the Elf. And Buddy the Elf is going for $12. But we do have like a whole Game of Thrones thing. And one day I hope to have a whole bookshelf of Game of Thrones. Because I love the common pops, I love the grails, I love the exclusives, I love all of the Game of Thrones pops. So let's get right on to these and check these out. The first one we're going to be looking at is Yara, Yara Greyjoy, which is Theon's sister. And she is going for $8, like I said, just a common. The next one that we're going to be getting into is Gendry, which I ship Arya and Gendry so hard and if you watch Game of Thrones you know what I'm talking about but I'm not going to spoil anything because I don't know if you've seen it so I don't want to spoil anything but if you haven't watched Game of Thrones you need to but Gendry right here just another common pop is going for nine dollars which I forgot to show you Yara I believe that's how you say her name a bunch of their names are very hard to pronounce for me the next one is also a common and it is children of the forest and this one right here is going for ten dollars and if you have like the metallic children of the forest i want her and you should definitely try to sell her to me that's all i'm saying even though she's expensive stupid expensive oh my gosh i just kicked the entire camera but of course this one is also a common and this is lord varus and he is going for eight dollars he's a tricky little man that's all i'm saying and then the next three that we have that are game of thrones i believe we bought all of these offline i believe i don't want to say we did and then we didn't but the first one is this is jorah mormont jorah jorah i think it's jorah mormont i always say his name wrong but he is one of my favorite characters so we had to pick him up and he is going for $42 and there's his side view and the set he can he comes from the next one is Jon Snow and is it is a hot topic exclusive and it's from it's his um, castle black uniform and this one is going for $55 and there's his side view and he only has a very small little set which I want all of those and the last one of the Game of Thrones pops are, is The Mountain. And The Mountain is going for a whopping $75. And this is him in his gold. So basically after he turned into a Frankenstein. That's how I like to say it. And this is the 2017 Summer Convention exclusive. So it's a really cool pop. He's also in a stacky. And then so is Jon Snow. And then Jorah is in a pop protector with which we do need to get him a, a stacky. But is 
Howard the Duck and he is going for if he will focus he is going for eleven dollars and honestly I have no clue what he's from I believe Howard the Duck was a comic book I could be so wrong and please don't butcher me in the comments I believe I really do not know but he was out of the big bunch that Jonathan bought from someone the next one which is also from that bunch is Thor Secret Wars and this one is worth $12 and then I believe we picked this one up it is from the Avengers and this is Captain America there might be another Captain America there is there's two Captain America so this one is either worth $16 or nine dollars and I believe this is the nine no the sixteen dollar one but I could be wrong this next one which is a really cool pop is the silver surfer and he is going for twenty seven dollars let's get him to focus right there he's a super cool pop and then this is the other Captain America. So this one is probably the one that's worth 16 and this one is probably the one that's worth nine. So this is the next one and it's just a Hot Topic exclusive. We did just pick this one up. I remember getting this one. The next one is Killer Croc from the Arkham Asylum. I believe I said that right. And that is also a very interesting pop. I do see he has a little bulging going on, but Mostly is in good shape besides that. He is going for $8. The next one, which is honestly one of my favorites because I love Rocket. This is Rocket from the Avengers, this past movie, I believe. It could be, yes, from this movie and it is a Walmart exclusive is going for $20. You guys, if you have a Walmart near you, you really need to go and check them out because most of the Walmart exclusives, some of them, not all of them, like have really good value for only paying $8.99. Like the Captain Marvel that glows in the dark Walmart exclusive is worth $21, but you pay $8.99 for. So like the same with this rocket. We paid $8.99. It's worth how much? So my camera just cut off on me and stopped recording, but I don't know if you heard the last part, but... You pay $8.99 for a pop and it's worth around $20. So I don't see why you wouldn't. The next one, which I really like because she's a bad A, is Black Widow. And Black Widow, what is she going for? She's going for $10. So just a common. He is only worth $7, which is very weird considering that um, it's a Hot Topic ex exclusive. But I do believe it was made in 2014. So like I don't know if you guys know this. But like there's usually like serial numbers on the bottom. So it could look like this. Or they could actually have them like engraved. Some of them are engraved and some of them aren't. But that's when you can see when the pop was made. So like for instance this one was made October 23rd, 2014. I don't know if you guys know that. But that's just like a little quick tip to see when your... Um, pop was made. This is Spider-Man which is an exclusive Marvel's Collector Corpse and this one right here is a really super cool pop because I had never heard of like the exclusive Marvel Collector Corpse and I believe we have another one we do which will probably be the last one I show you guys but he is going for $13. I'm sorry it's so weird that I'm just staring over here but like I said, I can show you guys. I have all of the pops written down on my sheets of paper. This next one, which is also a Walmart exclusive, and you see my PJs. This is Life of a YouTuber. Cute little top and PJs on the bottom, so whatever. But this is Ronin. I could also be saying this wrong. We all know I don't know how to speak. But he is a Walmart exclusive, and he is going for 17 So again, like I said... $8.99 is what we paid and he is worth $17. Not that I'm collecting for worth, which I did see a comment which this is not throwing any tea or any shade, but me and Jonathan do like to collect pops that are higher value just because they're really cool to have. But we also love to like just collect random pops. Like there was a, like the, um, what's a 
where is she this one right here is like a super cool pop but he's only worth nine dollars and we're not all about value but like when it comes to it like value is cool to have for instance like our game of thrones pops we have a couple that are worth over 50 bucks but like we mostly have commons because we don't care about that kind of stuff and again that wasn't trying to throw tea or shade at the person who commented that that was just me like bringing to light that we don't really care about value but value is okay to have if that makes any sense so we still have freaking five more pops which is insane but there's so many in this video <laughs> at least you guys will have a long video because i've been being an awful person and making super short videos but this next one which is really cool is also from the arkham asylum and this is poison ivy and i remember growing up when this came out i remember i was like she is so freaking cool like excuse me i love her character and i loved the movie which i love the batman movies but poison ivy is going for nine dollars this next one that we actually picked up this weekend which is a batman 80 years and it was batman 1989 and i love this we have another one somewhere and i love the different colored boxes like this i'm honestly not sure where he is but matt batman is dc i believe oh yeah he's right here it's another one and it's from 80 years and i believe this is from not the same set but the same batman 80 years thing and it, this was just a hot topic exclusive but i really like the different colored boxes that's super cool this Batman is going for $10 and the next one we have is this Iron Man Mark 43 and he is going for $11. Oh, and oh, oh no. Oh no. This one which we actually have in a 10 inch pop which I can show you that. I was I need to show you that cuz that's part of the thing. This pop right here which is Thanos we have him in the in the 10 inch version is going for $11 and his 10 inch pop which I will show you after I get done showing you this one last pop is going for $55 I believe so this last one which is actually Jonathan's like favorite one of like the lot that he bought from someone which is a super super cool pop and this one is going for $24 and this is also the Marvel um, collector's corpse exclusive and it's super cool and I love that one but I can show you guys but you will see my pajamas again the Thanos pop oh it really hurts to sit down and crisscross applesauce but so these are our 10 inches that we have including that one but we have the Incredibles Jack Jack Thanos and then a Ewok and we're in my room's a mess but this is all the pops i've just showed you as an overview here he is that is him in the little version and that is him in the 10 inch version which i hate how there's so much plastic so it shows a really bad glare and you can see me back here but that is the two pops right there Yes, yeah, so that was all the pops I just showed you. I hope you guys really liked it. Comment down below which one was your favorite pop that that I got. I honestly couldn't choose one favorite pop. I could probably choose one pop from each section that I love the most. And honestly, from the Game of Thrones, I'd probably pick this pop, Jorah Mormont. And then from the uh, um, superheroes would definitely be the Rocket because I love Rocket. From Toy Story, I'd probably say Sheriff Woody. And then from like the, what is it? I can't even speak English. I don't even know. It would probably be the Stitch one. The six, the Stitch 626. And then the Star Wars one that was my favorite is the Princess Leia that is gold chrome. But that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great Friday because... You can watch this in the morning and then have a great day or if you're watching at night i hope you have a great rest of your night but i will see you guys tuesday back with another video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified when i upload a video and i'll see you soon bye